I'd like to do one more example from uh, this section of our book. And uh, in section 1.3, we learned about what it means to an evaluate an expression that has variables. And uh, so we're going to see this again here. Um, but I think this is an example worth doing because uh, what we have here is we're going to evaluate 7AB, where A equals 62 and B equals 14. And a lot of times what kind of throws people off is what what does it mean to just have 7AB without anything in between these numbers and letters? And so the answer to that is if you ever see letters next to each other with nothing between them or a number next to a letter with nothing between them, that is always going to indicate multiplication. If there's any other operation going on, addition, subtraction, division, you will see a symbol between the numbers and letters. So 7AB is the same thing as 7 times A times B. So when I plug in these two numbers, 62 and 14, what they're really asking me to do is to figure out what this equals. So 7 times 62 times 14. And so if you found it convenient, you could rearrange these. Remember the commutative property of multiplication says you can multiply in any order you want. I think I'm happy with the way it's set up. I'll go ahead and multiply 62 and 7 first. And I get 434. So that's 434 times 14. And then of course 434 times 14. I can do right over here. So 16 for that first one, 12 plus 1 is 13, 16 plus 1 is 17. Put a 0 down here as a placeholder in the 1's, and then 4, 3, 4. Add those together, 6, 7, 10, and 6. So the answer here is 6,076.